on YouTube, this is Neonexus here with a Tech for Talk Tuesday. Today we shall be talking about these two cards. Now you may think, what the hell am I on? But after this video, you will see why. I'm talking about, of course, Mirror of Oaths. And the card that everyone wrote off when it came out, which will now start to see a little bit of play. This card, Smashing Horn. Oh yes. This card that everyone thought was shit, that is really low in price for a secret rare. I'm going to tell you how to use this efficiently and rather strategically. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Shiny, sexy, secret, awesome. Yes. Anyway. Right. On to Mirror of Oaths. Mirror of Oaths reads, Activate only when your opponent special summons a monster from their deck. Destroy that monster and draw one card. Now... What that means is, basically, when they special summon a monster from the deck, but not during the damage step, because apparently you can't activate Mirror Vice during the damage step. A little bit of a nail on the head, but, you know, not too bad. Still a relatively good card for the reasons I will show you in a moment. Now, um, no matter how many monsters you destroy, you only draw one card. It'd be way too good if you could draw multiple cards after destroying multiple monsters. Now, everyone used to use this card against these monsters. Test Tiger, Hoplomus, and other forms of Gladiator Beast monsters. Because basically they tag out. They would turn themselves to the deck and special summon from the deck and would activate an effect. Now when you play Mirror of Oaths, the, the Gladiator Beast effect still goes off, but you destroy the monster and draw a card off it. So what you sacrifice, say if it was Best you sacrifice a spell or trap, if they're lucky enough, they'll target this card. So really, you don't actually lose anything. Or you might have something removed from your graveyard, or a card might be destroyed in the field, or they might bring out Darius and revive something for the graveyard. You still draw a card. Now, as I was saying, you can't activate it during the damage step. So when you destroy things by battle, like Mystic Tomato, Giant Rat, etc., you cannot, I repeat, you cannot activate Mirror of Oaths. Other cards that can be special summoned from the deck, or cards to use to special summon from the deck, are, like, Summon a Monk, who you can normal summon, he switches into defence, and then you send a spell card from your hand to the graveyard, special summon one level four lower monster. Therefore, if you activate Mirror Oaths at that time, they cannot exceed, they cannot see growth, they brought out a level four tuner, and thereby providing you with a plus one on the draw, and messing up their play for that turn because it's very unlikely that they're going to play something like Solemn Judgment unless they're going for game. You know, Solemn Judgment is the only negation card that people are running these days really. That and the odd people run one dark bribe. So, worst case scenario, Mirror Rose doesn't go through, but you still draw a card. Greykeeper Spy. Reborn Tengu. Blackwing. Shura the Blue Flame. And imagine teleport. Yes, Mirror Rose even works on spells that special summon monsters from the deck, like emergency teleport. But it also, more effectively, can be used against such monsters as Rescue Rabbit. When Rescue Rabbit banishes itself for its own effect, you can then, uh, when they bring out two monsters, either two Cubsaurs or two Sabersaurus, you can play Mirror Rose, destroy those monsters, and then you can draw a card. So, two Cubazors, two Sabersaurus, bye bye, no Lugia, no Dogger for you. Ruravos just destroys it. It doesn't negate the summon, but it destroys the monsters before they can exceed, because there's no such thing as priority exceed or priority synchro. Thank fucking God. Right, on to Smashing Horn. A Smashing Horn, what it reads as is, when a monster effect or trap is activated that negates the normal summon or special summon of a monster or monsters negate the activation and destroy it. Now you may think that's highly situational but it is not. Because of the likes of Solemn Warning, that's at 2. Everyone runs that now, it's a super, right? So they pay 2k, you play Smashing Horn, your monster is safe and they pay 2000 for nothing. Black Horn of Heaven works against this card as well. 
Now Black Horn of Heaven, as I discussed in a previous Tech Talk Tuesday, it negates the initial special summon of monster, e.g. Chaos Sorcerer, Black Soldier, Synchro, and Exceeds. So you play Smashing Horn. Bye bye, goes Black Horn. Thunder King Ryo. Everyone seems to be mining or siding this card now. When they tribute to negate your special summon of your monster, you play Smashing Horn. Thunder King's effect is null and void. Steel Swarm Roach. Although not a lot of people do run Roach. Well, they have it, but they don't use it. Everyone prefers number th 39, Utopia. Now, Steel Swarm Roach. It negates the summon of a level 5 or higher initial special summon monster by detaching one of its underlay units or Xyz materials. You play Smashing Horn against this, you get rid of a big problem. Now, also, Smashing Horn also works against Solemn Judgment. Now, you all know what Solemn Judgment does, don't you? I don't personally own one because I don't like the card, but, you know, that's besides the point. Solemn Judgment, you pay half your life to negate the normal summon or special summon, the special summon being initial, or the spell or trap card, and negate it and destroy it. So you can negate practically anything. Anything is negated by Solemn Judgment except for monster effects. So there you go. For that you need something like Divine Wrath, or Effect Veiler, or Herald of the Orange Light. But that's besides the point. Now, Smashing Horn recently came to light with me reading a Yu-Gi-Oh! article on yu-gi-oh.tcgplayer.com. It was talking about YCS Brighton, and it was talking about Evelzar Lagia, and it brought up the fact of Smashing Horn. Now, as you can see, Lagia, right there on the computer screen, um, it can detach both its materials and negate the summon of a monster, right? So if you play your Smashing Horn against that, they're kind of screwed because they lose their Lagia and they can't negate Smashing Horn with another Lagia because. Smashing Horn, as you can see, is a counter trap, and you only and you need a counter trap to go you above a counter trap. E.g., counter traps only beat counter traps, and counter traps beat down everything. So, with that in mind, you summon a monster. They detach the materials from Lagia. You play your Smashing Horn. You instantly gain advantage. This card will be seeing. I reckon we'll be seeing a lot of play uh, coming in the upcoming months. And, um, yeah, so, that's all I've got on Smashing Horn. One last touch on Mirror of Revoth, though. So. Uh, with the new upcoming deck type of Insectors, they special summon from the deck through Hornet, as well as destroying a card on the field, but when they special summon a monster from the deck, you can play Mirror of to destroy that monster and draw a card, instantly gaining you, once again, advantage. Now, I've been near Nexus. I hope you guys have all taken this Tech Talk Tuesday in, because... Believe in me, I'm already side Mirror of Oaths and I'm very tempted to side Smashing Horn. Provided that rabbit picks up the speed that I, it's guaranteed to do. Now don't forget to subscribe to me, Neon Nexus, and the other members of the KCP and Team Waterpond UK channel. Okay, see you all next time.